some of the testimonies so your faith will increase and for you to believe that God still answers prayers. God still answers prayers. The Bible makes us to understand in Jeremiah chapter 29 verse 13. Can you read Jeremiah chapter 29 verse 13? We serve a miracle working God, a God who is a way maker, a promise keeper, a God who is able to turn situations around for good for his children if only we will trust him. If only we'll trust him. Yep. Verse. Jeremiah 29 verse 13. Jeremiah 29 verse 13. It reads, And you will seek me. The Bible says, You will seek me. And find me. And you will find me. When you search for me with all your heart. When you search for me with all your heart. I, verse 14, I will be found by you. I will be found by you. Says the Lord. Says the Lord. And I will bring you back. And I will bring you back. From your captivity. Amen. From Amen. your captivity. So the Bible says, if you seek the Lord with all your heart, soul and mind, you will find him. Yes. You can find God. You can locate God. You can have an encounter with Jesus. But you have to seek him, earnestly seek him, and that's what the Bible says in Hebrews chapter 6 11 verse 6, talking about the fact that God is a rewarder of those who diligently seek him. God is what a rewarder of those who diligently seek him. So, I just want to encourage you to know that as you have set a time aside to seek the lord in fasting and in prayer you will find god yes and then when you also read jeremiah 29 jeremiah 29 verse 12 verse 12 it says when you call upon me when you call upon me and go and pray to me and you go ahead to pray i will listen to you i will listen to your prayers when you call upon me I will answer you. There is a promise that if you seek the Lord, cry out to Him, and you are desperate, wherever you are, wherever you are hearing the sound of my voice, there is no distance in prayer. God will reveal Himself to you, show up, and something you are asking, something you are seeking, something you are knocking, the door will be open. Today I was talking to Minister Esther about the fact that there was something I was seeking and just this evening <coughs> I found it. There was something she was asking God for and she received it. But the question is that prior to our asking and seeking, it was eluding us, it was staring at us but we couldn't find it, we couldn't know it until we asked the Lord. So everything that you bring before God in prayer and you believe, even the smallest, tiniest little things, God will help you to receive what you are asking, find what you are looking for, and open doors that were once shut before you and you could not penetrate, you could not have access to possess that blessing or miracle but in immediately you begin to seek the face of the lord and to present your request your need your want your desires before him in prayer earnest prayer fervent prayer praying with faith and confidence that he is the god who answers prayers by the time you realize that which you were seeking, he will open your eyes to locate it. That which you were asking for, the Lord who made it possible for you to have it. And the doors that were shut, gates that were shut, no matter whether it was made with iron or made with brass, God will begin to break it and 
cause the iron bars to be severed into two for you to penetrate and break through and receive that miracle. And therefore, this evening, I want to encourage you. Believe, according to Mark chapter 5, verse 36 or so, it says that only believe, have faith, have faith in God, only believe. Have faith in God, only believe that God is able and more than able to restore restore your marriage. Today, somebody was talking to me, a test uh, or WhatsApp about how God is moving and working behind the scenes of bringing peace and restoration in marriage. God is working all things, whether good, bad, or ugly. God is working them out. God is working them out for your ultimate good. Let's hear some of the testimonies. Let's hear some of the testimonies. Okay, today at 8, 8 a.m. Today, 12 a.m. Today at 8 p.m., meaning a few... No, 8 a.m. 8 a.m., early in the morning. He said, thank you so much for your prayers on YouTube. I was having a snake that moves in my stomach. She was having a snake that was moving in her stomach. After praying with you on YouTube. After praying with you on YouTube. I started vomiting for two hours. I started vomiting for two hours. And from there, I was healed. And from there, I was what? Healed or delivered. My body became light and I am totally free. My body became light and totally am free. And this you, is the... And, and so you realize that I wasn't present. But she was playing the prayers, warfare prayers we post on YouTube or the books we have. And even though she had a snake moving in her stomach, the Lord Jesus was able to flash that demonic entity out of her. I don't have to be present. It is your fate. If you will engage in prayer and believe wherever you are god will meet you at the point of your need and therefore she received her deliverance she played the prayers prayed along and the deliverance took place if you apply yourself in faith and pray along today on this prayer platform on this youtube we have more than 5,000 videos of prayers. There is no excuse for saying that I don't know, I don't have prayers or whatever. It is it's up to you. There's no excuse. God was telling me, son, you've done what you have to do. The rest is whether the desperate, the desperate, the violent are taking it by force because there is nothing or what I have almost talked about every topic. You just type in the topic and say, brother K or reverend K, or brother K, and you will find something about it. And if you will want to be delivered and engage in effective warfare, you will receive your deliverance. We have 16 hours of prayer of deliverance, 16 hours posted on YouTube. We have the book Consuming Fire for Fire that we are encouraging people to receive it during this season, to pray it, to enforce your deliverance which you can get on our website, www.freshfireprayer.com. We have many videos about deliverance, from, ranging from different topics. If only you will apply yourself and be, de and be desperate for your deliverance, I'm telling you, the Lord Jesus will set you free. Snake, flash out. I didn't pray for her. She just listened to the prayers we posted and God came through. Let's, let's hear the next testimony. Praise report today at 8.04 p.m. I will try this is long so I will try to make this testimony as brief as possible. Ever since I joined the prayer line in January of this year my prayer life has been on another level. I had participated in some of your fasting and even so in seed when you gave special word to some people. I used to fast once a week, but now I have gradually increased it to three times a three times a week. So she which used to include my birthday. Okay, good. 
so she used to fast once a week joining the prayer line she now i believe we do the tuesdays fasting the fridays fasting and she has also added her day of birth mm -hmm. as part of the day of fasting so she fasts now three times a week and depending on your situation god may call you to tell you my son or my daughter you've been so much delayed and denied in life so you must start fasting to possess your possession remember too much food is what has led caused man to lose all our blessing we lost the garden of eden through food esau lost his birthright through food so if you keep on eating and eating and eating you will keep on losing opportunities but the day you start fasting and become spiritual you begin to what repossess and take back what the devil has stolen from you so that's why probably the lord was leading her into three days fasting in a week continue also i have never stopped praying for my five prayer points on my list so she was that also created a few months ago so she was praying the, her five prayer requests from the beginning of this year i encouraged each and every one of you to enlist five things you want god to do for you before the end of the year you write down your five prayer requests and i encourage you to pray at least five minutes on each one of them the first free prayer request you pray it five minutes second you'll be praying at least 25 to 30 minutes every day on your five prayer requests day and night and you'll see how god will begin to answer you speedily so this is something we encourage people to write down the five things you want god to do for you according to priority what do you want to get married do you want to get a job do you want to be pregnant do you want healing whatever it is you will list five things and as God answers your prayers, you add it, you add another one. So always you have five things presenting to God, fasting, praying, and constantly praying to God about your five prayer requests. In the morning, when you are um, driving to work, some of you, it takes you one hour. Some of you, it takes 30 minutes in the train. You can be praying on your five prayer requests. By the time you get to work, you have allowed God to be working on your needs and wants. And God will begin to change situations in your life. You see, although I kept getting attacked in my dreams, I kept going harder in prayer. Although, I also, mm -hmm, let me, although I kept what? Praying, I was experiencing attacks. Attack, but he but, kept harder, praying harder. But she, if you come on this prayer line, we tell you, the harder they come, the harder you pray. The reason why there's a backlash, there's a counter attack, there's a repercussion after your prayer is because your prayers are now effective and you are hitting the bull's eye and therefore there's a reaction. The reaction of intimidation and trying to uh, discourage you is a sign that they don't want you to pray those kind of prayers. And many people will back off, many, many people will stop praying that kind of prayer. Oh, when I prayed, I started receiving attacks. That's why you are still unemployed. That's why you still can't get a job. That's why you are still backward. The, you must begin to fervently pray aggressively because that's the only way these demons and witches and wizards will lose you, leave you alone when you are consistently enforcing the power of god the glory of god their mind and the fire of god upon them in prayers and then she said i also have been adding the prayers from the consuming fire for fire book so she's been adding the prayers from the book consuming fire for fire which consuming I bought, for fire which i bought on april 13. april 13 she Since bought that then, book and now he said testimony so now this is the testimony. so immediately she bought the book added it to her prayer list now let's hear the testimonies he said i have never been working on my field of degree since i graduated college which is 11 years ago 11 years ago even though even unemployed when even when I graduated with my master's degree, I still couldn't find a job. I kept working all jobs and quit and moved on to the next one. So I, after 11 years of getting a master's degree, with that master's degree, she couldn't find a job with the kind of um, career she uh, or profession she went to school to pursue. Mm -hmm. And then he said, I was also on a, unemployed for one year ever since the pandemic began in march 2020 okay and then he said that i had zero account and i was only depending 
on the stimulus check she was heavily dependent on the stimulus check mm -hmm. and unemployed for one year and for 11 years not getting a job with what she went to school to pursue the spirit of delay and setback was a very heavy stronghold on my life the spirit of delay and, and what the spirit of delay and setback and setback was operating in her situation well today the lord answered one of my five prayer points ah again, god has come through and gave me a breakthrough from on unemployment amen on the 27th of april i had my first interview for my field of study which is government and criminal justice studies wow this position i applied in october of 2020 this position is to work for the mayor's office in the city i had fasted the day before and the day of the interview as you mentioned months ago on how we should prepare this lady is following all the protocols yes she 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 fasted three times in a week mm -hmm. she knew she had an interview and she fasted before the day of interview and the day of and also the day of her interview mm -hmm. and for 11 years of not getting any job relating to her uh course or the her, her, her degree for the first time she got an interview in that criminal justice thing yes. and she went for the interview let's hear what is happening i then received call last week to she, come back mm -hmm. for the second interview amen which was today so today she was called back for the second interview the 13th of may the 13th of may 2021 to, we are in 20. to meet with the mayor himself to meet with the mayor himself i fasted again. did you say the mayor himself yeah right here <laughs> so a person denied access of getting her breakthrough now she is meeting the mayor somebody who has never worked or has no experience when god begins to show a person favor mm -hmm. he sets a table before you in the presence of your enemies so all these three 11 years the devil knew that this lady's destiny was to walk with dignitaries mm -hmm. and nobles yes. mayors and says you i will lock you up and i'll not let you get anything close to your destiny but when she started exercising her authority as a child of god and began to pray strategic prayers and do strategic warfare now she began to break through but she had to sacrifice fasting three times in a week and being aggressive in prayer and see how her destiny is beginning to unfold and to manifest so you see why we enforce these principles it's a principle anybody who wants to experience the glory if you do it you will see it god is not a respect of persons her case is not unique it is just because she decided to apply herself to the principles and god is bringing the promises to pass in her life i fasted again the day before and and the day off guess what i came an hour early mm -hmm. for the interview today and i did not realize i parked my car near the mail wow god is so much <laughs> arranging situation so much that even when she got to the place of interview the place she parked was still parking close to the mayor. And she went an hour early. And she went an hour early. You see? An hour early. An hour early. This is somebody who is serious with destiny. Some people will get the opportunity and they will be late for that interview because they will allow the devil to manipulate them not to wake up early or have traffic and give excuse and miss their blessing. Not only did she fast, but she went an hour early because she didn't want to give any little room for the devil to sneak in to block her opportunity because she knew that this is her season of grace, mercy, and favor, and she was not going to take a no for an answer. But some people, with all the opportunities being open to them, getting an interview, that's the day they will start telling people everybody in the world i've gotten an interview that's the begin they, they start having fun there will, there will be no fasting there will be no praying and then the next minute 
the door is shut before them and they miss the opportunity. Why? Because they were not enforcing their blessings and breakthroughs through prophetic directions. He said, I saw a guy go around my car mm -hmm. and came to the window and said, mm -hmm. Hey, you came very early. That's a good sign. Well, so, <laughs> a guy came around her car and said, You came very early. And that was early. the mayor. And then while I was putting on my heels, lip gloss, and taking off my hair wrap, mm -hmm. he then proceeded to say, I heard great things about you. Amen. And you are very highly spoken of. You are actually overqualified for the position. But don't worry, you have the job. Anyway, so you can relax. Wow. Anyway, you can relax. So the mayor is saying that even though you are overqualified, but yes, still, you are going to get a job. job but you don't see, worry, for you have the job anyways, so you can relax. So now God is himself advertising, yeah. promoting, and showing this woman favor in the presence of decision makers. God worked it so much that she went early, packed close to the mayor. The mayor saw her come early. The mayor, God, God works in mysterious ways. When it is your time and it's your season, the, the Bible thing, says he makes all things beautiful. Yes, the only thing the interview was about was, he said that, it's, and then he said, he then said, you will still meet me up in this office to discuss salary. So they only went in there to talk about salary. So now somebody is going for interview. Now the interview has been, just come and let's talk about money. How much you you think we should pay you my god is great oh god is great he said, my god <laughs> is great my god is great amen i prayed the prayer last night and you prophesied within 24 hours is going to provide a miracle favor and grace this was surely it thank you again pastor k for teaching us how to pray effectively with the appropriate tools amen. i will continue to pray with the book i bought i really does work it, it really does work oh the, 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 the book consuming fire for fire if you get to that's what i'm saying it is not for people who are not serious when you have faith in your prayers if you are desperate for answers when you get that material and you start using it in faith you begin to express immediate and sudden reactions around you and then her name and then you, you begin to deal with the issue of delay, stagnation, and, and God. And yesterday, as we were praying, God was prophesying. Some people, when we say uh, God is saying 24 hours, they think it's a joke. Somebody is tapping into these prophetic utterances and declarations, and are, they are running with it. She is doing all these things within this framework of two weeks fasting. She can't get wrong. Heaven is on her side. We thank God for such amazing testimonies. I pray that you also who has been unemployed for so long or you've never been able to be employed in the field of your education, as you have heard this testimony, may the Lord God Almighty, who when he does it for one, he does for another, may that same God do it for you. May that same God do it for you. May you apply some of you have even stopped applying for those jobs because it's been so long, you've never even had any form of training or experience and you've moved on to do some mini, uh, other job which is not related to your, 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 your degree. But I dare you today by this testimony and praise report that go back and use your certificate and your degree and your license and apply for the, po the position you once applied for and you didn't get and made the same grace. May the same mercy, may the same favor of God locate you and help you to also give a testimony. How you heard somebody's testimony, you were so much um, uh, encouraged and you took a step of faith and you broke through. If you want that book, Con Consuming Fire for Fire, you can get it on our website, www.freshfireprayer.com in Kindle form. Start reading it, start using it. It will break every yoke of delay and witchcraft attacks in your life. In Jesus' name. Another testimony, he says that, uh, Good evening, Reverend K. God bless you and Minister Esther for the lost work you are doing to win souls for Christ. Thank you also for teaching us how to pray using scriptures 
in the Bible. It has helped me memorize a lot of them and has been using it to pray fervently against the works of the enemy. I have been waiting for my green card to be approved for a long, for long. Last week, when we started praying for miracle on my birthday, April 28, I received an email from the immigration that documented that document has been approved and card mailed to me. So on her day, her birthday, that was the day she also received a testimony that her green card had been what released to her. Yesterday, by the glory of God, I received my 10 years, 10 years green card in the mail. And no one relies on God and he fills them. I, I realized and, and fill them. I thank you and Reverend K for empowering us to pray on our own. Our Father in heaven hears us when we call upon him. So by believing God, her green card has been released and 10 years has been given to her. God works in mysterious ways and God answers prayer. Today we are going to pray again. And I want you to believe God again. That these testimonies you've heard, it will also begin to be encouragement to you to also believe God for your own personal testimony. Let me read one more testimonies. One more testimony. One more testimony. Pastor K, God has been so good to me and I wanted to share this testimony. My husband and I were separated and I filed for a divorce because of adultery in January 2021. My husband and I are now reconciled and praying together and allowing God to rule and reign in our marriage. So for you all who are giving up on your marriage, she filed for divorce. Husband had committed adultery, but God stepped in. But God stepped in and has restored that marriage. And that's why we keep on encouraging you. If you only learn how to pray, what the devil comes to steal, you can recover it. You can take it back. You need to be willing to fight for your marriage. And for those of you who are fighting for your marriage, having argument, misunderstanding, divorce issue, separation issue, I recommend this book, Emergency Prayer for Marriage Restoration. Emergency Prayer for Marriage Restoration. It is a must-get book for every woman who is married or a single lady preparing to marry. You will learn the strategies and the tactics of praying and effective prayers to protect your marriage from any form of witchcraft attacks, demonic attacks, generational strongholds, spiritual marriages, and wrong mistakes that people perform in their marriages, and the different arrows that the devil throws against marriages to bring divorce separation and to destabilize people's family precious one it's called emergency prayer for marriage restoration you can also get it on our website i encourage a woman i encourage a man don't give up yes they might have committed adultery but you can forgive you can forgive and the more, more important thing is for you to pray for the lord to turn their heart around to change them to save them so that that adulterous lustful desire will leave your husband so that wh whoever is charming captivating the attention of your husband that spell will be broken and also you will learn how to break soul tie many of um, some ladies spouses are having soul tie with strange women you have to stand in the gap for your husband and break that soul tie that he has with any other woman or you have to begin to break every generational curses that is trying to destroy your marriage and then your marriage will be restored and you have your husband back and the blessing is that it says, my husband and I were separated and I filed for divorce because of adultery in January 2021. My husband and I are reconciled and praying together, praying together, praying together. Today, they are one, one spiritually, not only one physically. It's my prayer that the Lord will touch your husband. The Lord will touch your wife. The Lord will bring reconciliation. The Lord will amend and heal your marriages and bring peace and salvation let there be salvation for your husband. Let there be salvation for your loved ones in Jesus' name. So we go on. 
He says, my husband and I are now reconciled and praying together and allowing God to rule and reign in our marriage. That's first testimony. My husband and I came on a 23rd, on the 23rd April for a ministerial conference and I contracted COVID and could not return home. Lying on the sofa, I felt a jolt of electric shock on my body, upper part of on the chair. Initially, I was diagnosed. Initially, when I was diagnosed, I found it hard to pray. But I eventually found my way back to God and started turning back on the prayer line. I finally binded COVID and cast it out of my body. And I returned it back to the sender like you taught me. So you see, even though she's been diagnosed with COVID and she was not praying, immediately she got back on the line and took her authority as a child of God. She now binded the COVID, the spirit of COVID, and cast the spirit out of her and sent it back to the sender. You see why last month we were dealing with binding and loosing. And I was teaching you how to learn to bind up every negativity, bind up witchcraft spells, charms, hexes, bind up curses, bind up evil personality, and cast every evil out of your life. She began to take her authority. If she didn't, COVID would have arrested her and have its way in her life. But because she took her authority and her dominion, she bounded the spirit of COVID, cast it out, and let's hear what goes on, and send it back to the sender. And I experienced a direct encounter with God himself, healing my body. It wasn't Reverend K who came to heal my body. Jesus came to heal her. Because when we cry out to God, when we pray to God, he answers prayers. I pray that you begin to take authority and begin to bind up any evil in your life. Bind it up in the name of Jesus. Cast it out in Jesus' name. Bind up every divorce. Cast it out in Jesus' name. Bind up every spirit of separation. Cast it out in Jesus' name. Bind up every COVID. Bind up every cancer. Bind up every diabetes. Bind up every high blood pressure. Bind up every autism. Bind up every heart attack. Bind up every pain in your body. Bind up the spirit of infirmity. Cast it out of your life. Bind up the spirit of poverty. Cast it out and send it back to the sender. Every rejection spirit, any negativity, any witchcraft spells, bind it and cast it out according to Matthew 18 verse 18. Whatever you bind up on earth shall be bound in heaven and whatever you lose on earth shall be loose. She bound and she had an encounter of healing. I went to the lab to rest. I went to the lab to be tested today because I can't get back home without a negative COVID test. She was from another country. My test came back negative. Somebody who prior she was diagnosed with COVID, when she prayed and went back, there was a reverse. Back to sender. Say back to sender. Back to sender. Say in the name of Jesus. In the name of every Jesus. Every evil arrow. Every evil every arrow. Satanic arrow. Every satanic every arrow. Every satanic arrow. Every demonic arrow. Every demonic arrow. Arrows from my enemies. Arrows from my Against enemies. my life. Against my Against life. my health. Against my Against health. my family. Against my Against family. my marriage. Against my Against my marriage. job. Against my Against job. my soul. Against my soul. Against my mind. Against my mind. Against my spirit. Against my spirit. Against my body. Against my body. Against my finances. Against any satanic arrows. Any satanic I arrows. send it back. I send it back. Back to sender. 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 Back fire. Back fire. Back fire. Back fire. Boomerang. 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 Return to sender. Return to sender. Return to sender. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. When you exercise your authority, the devil doesn't make your life a gameplay, a field of play, a field play for, for them to practice nonsense around you because you will send it back to saying that. My test came back negative. I told everyone in the lab Jesus had healed me. Everyone was excited for me because this was the same lab I tested positive in 10 days earlier. The reason this is so important is because people who test positive, retest positive for months later. In the natural, this is impossible and the nurse said they have never seen this and know this is a miracle. 
I don't normally share my testimony, but I needed to share this one for everyone to believe that Jesus is still healing today and he is a restorer for women to not give up on their marriage, but to trust God, but to trust and believe God. This is a powerful um, testimony to encourage all women to trust God and fight for your marriage, for there's nothing too hard and there's not, nothing too difficult for God. Um, get the book Emergency Prayer for Marriage Restoration for anyone going through any marital crisis, marital storms, turbulence, any challenges in your marriage, spiritually and physically. And if you are preparing to get married, get this book, read it, and get wisdom as to how to protect your marriage as you prepare to be, get married very soon in the mighty name of Jesus. We thank God. We bless God for all these testimonies. It's his hand work. It is his hand work. To God alone be all the glory and honor, for he has done great things. I pray for somebody hearing the sound of my voice. If your marriage is under attack, may the same God who brought reconciliation and restoration to these couples, may the same God touch your husband, touch your marriage, and heal your marriage and restore your marriage in the name of Jesus. If you're a single woman, may the Lord give you a miracle, a breakthrough for you to break forth and get married in jesus name if you are unemployed by this testimony begin to break forth and break through and receive your miracle job in the name of jesus i break the curse of delay i break the curse of setback i release your job in the name of jesus if you are believing god for your immigration status to change i pray for a creative miracle may the lord cause them to release your green card and your citizenship if you are believing god for a loved one to join you in and abroad from a, in another country may the lord work it out for your family members to join you whether it's your husband or your wife or your son or your daughter may they god make that way may every every barrier every every roadblock every resistance whatever is every every barricade be broken by the power of the holy ghost and i command every obstacle to give way to a miracle in your life in the mighty name of jesus christ i pray anyone hearing the sound of my voice who is under any form of witchcraft attack may the power of witchcraft that is delaying your destiny. May the power of witchcraft that is afflicting your health. May the power of witchcraft attacking your finances. May the power of witchcraft attacking your marriage, attacking your job, attacking your life. May it be broken in the name of Jesus. I release your healing, your restoration, your deliverance in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen, amen and amen and amen.